Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us. Powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people, as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, and spread ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and the heavy chain. <clears throat> he sees the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil, or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshiped the beast or its image nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne, and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great, and the lowly. Standing before the throne, and scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, the Book of Life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead. Then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. God. Here God lives among his people. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. 
your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among his people. Blessed are they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. Here God lives among his people. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you. This generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, as we are approaching the end of the liturgical season, we're reminded of the words looking, or excuse me, the readings looking towards the end. And it's that great reminder to us to say, okay, am I able to recognize the kingdom of God being at hand? Or am I able to recognize that kingly nature at hand, the kingly aspect of the Lord at hand? And within our particular gospel, what that means is we recognize the signs, but we recognize the signs to do something. When fruit trees burst open and the trees are ready to produce fruits, we need to get, be ready to pick the fruit. We need to be ready to receive that bounty. For we know that trees that are not picked, or excuse me, fruits that are not picked on, picked on the trees may fall or even at times rot on the tree itself. That we need to receive those fruits, receive what the Lord is giving to us, receive the blessings that God has for us in mind. But again, we need to receive them, we need to pick them, we need to be able to have them. And that is about the work that must be done. For we know the graces that God gives us upon, grace upon grace that God gives us, but again, it's up to us to respond to that so that our nature might be perfected by God's grace. We might receive those blessings and use the gifts that God has given to us. Again, not burying them away, but using them for that greater glory of God. That is a great example of this actual memorial for St. Catherine of Alexandria that we see in her the use of what God has given to her, the use of being able to be a great witness to faith, a great mind of faith as well, so that others might receive from the Lord. And through that, again, give that great glory to God. So my dear sisters and brothers, let's continue to be prepared for the graces that God has given to us here and now and when the Lord comes. So that through that great consistency, that great ability to receive and work with what the Lord has given to us, we might receive more blessings and more opportunity to give God the love in our hearts, so that we might receive that love in fullness in the heavenly kingdom.
My dear sisters and brothers, watchful for the flower reign of God's reign, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That buds of faith may burst forth among God's people, we pray to the Lord. That the trees of the forest may root humanity in creation's goodness, we pray to the Lord. That the fruits of earth may nourish and sustain the hungry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, that words of wisdom may guide both young and old, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's kingdom may come near the sick and sorrowful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for many Bogdanich and for peace in our world, especially the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's eternal spring may restore the dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearers of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the end of abortion in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For these intentions and those in the sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Unfailing God, the budding trees proclaim your faithfulness, and hero the unending summer of your grace. Teach us to be attentive to creation's wisdom, that we may discover the word that will never pass away. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will be humble, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours. May be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. The Lord is just a sacrifice in your hands, with the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all of us, O Church. May the offering we bring in celebration of Blessed <coughs> Catherine of Alexandria win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Catherine, poured forth like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the field bestow strength to bear your witness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we are glad. 
Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Share with Francis our hope and blaze our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We be married to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not in our sins by the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the wages of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the wages of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the wages of the world and have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. Let us pray. O God, who stood and blessed Catherine a crown among the saints, for her twofold shrine of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of the sacraments that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is in. Thanks be to God. Together let's pray Hail Mary for the leaders of our church, for our world, and our heart. Hail Father, our Son, and our Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together let's pray the prayer to our mother. Mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of 
the Son of God. Mary, my mother, in your maternity, I so sanctify the state of Holy Mother. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me that I place my hope entirely in you. I let which all have happened me in your hands. Betray now my humble trust. Here to hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother of Mothers.